Welcome to another tutorial by Trevin vs NFT and today's video will be about how to record DJ Royale in OBS. So now we can hop into OBS itself. This is what it looks like. It is fully mirroring so it does look a little wonky if this is your first time. But OBS is a little scary but is the easiest platform or application to use to record any software that is gaming related, streaming and also clipping. So the first thing you want to do is basically go down to where it says scenes if you haven't already created one click on the plus icon and you can name this whatever you want Percy, i would just name this dj royale but once that is fully created um it'll come up with sources this should still be black then the next thing is you want to hit the icon on the left hand side hitting add source and this is where all the fun stuff is and the only ones you have to worry about are game capture and then also, if you did want to add a camera, I'll be showing you how to do that too. So we'll be hitting game capture. And then I already have this highlighted. So we'll just be calling this DJ Royale. And then you just have to hit OK. And the only thing you have to do is just leave this right here. So capture any full screen device. Once that has happened, it will bring you fully into the game. And that is the only thing that you need to have if you're looking just to record Dean Royale with no webcam. So if you are looking to add a webcam to the gameplay itself, it's very simple too. You just go back to source. You'll click where it says video capture device. This will basically bring up any webcam for the most part. A lot of people have this standard Logitech. I personally am using my A7 III, so that's why you're seeing the 1080 super clean quality um i already have this existing so then we would do capture video then hit okay i also already have my webcam c920 this is what you're looking at right now so if if we did want to add that we, we don't have to do anything else all we have to do is just hit okay and they'll bring in the webcam right here and you're able to put it wherever you want personally in my experience the best place to do is on the left hand side and then you can put your logo right there so the first thing is go on the left hand side, hit file, then go to settings. And we'll be focusing on the tab that says output. So you'll see streaming, recording, audio, replay. The one we want to look at is output mode. Click this to advanced. Once you hit that, you want to go to recording. This is mainly what we'll be looking at. So recording path is basically the folder that you want the footage to go into. Firstly, I have an external hard drive, so that's where I put it. Next thing is recording format. I do recommend doing the MP4. The file type is a little bit bigger, but I feel like the quality makes up for it. Next thing is you want to go to NVIDIA H.264. Rescale output, you want to be at 1920 by 1080. And if you do scroll down, you want your rate control to be CQP if you haven't. Level will be 17. And if we go to preset, you want it to be slow or good quality. For tuning, you want it to be high quality. Multi-pass mode should be on two passes, hopefully. Profile, you want it to be on high. And then visual tuning, you want to be checked. GPU, you want at zero. And then max B frames will be at two. So last but not least, you want to go over to video. You want to go over to 1920 by 1080, which should be the standard. And frames, I do recommend hitting 60. So if you do want to slow down your footage, you won't make it choppy and it looks a lot more smooth with gaming. And all I have to do is hit apply after that and hit OK and you're good to go. Before we do end the video, I will be going over the vertical plugin just a tad because I feel like not enough people know about this. This plugin came out about two weeks ago and it basically makes clipping for YouTube shorts and TikToks so much easier. So I will be linking that down below. Once you have that installed, it will basically give you the two options. So you have your full screen and then also your vertical recording. It will already make this happen. And the only thing you have to do is basically just make the scenes again, just like you were before. So you have your camera, you have your gameplay, and then also a display if you want to. This will already basically come over from your main scene. And all you have to do is just hit add. You can make the scene whatever you want. And then once you go over to vertical, you just click the plus icon and it will already capture everything that you have, like I did say before. So since they already have DJ Royale already made, all I have to do is hit DJ Royale. It'll bring in the gameplay itself, which will be down here once I hop into it. And then basically go back where you see DJ Royale. You want to click this guy right here, and then you'll be going to video capture device, and you'll click your webcam, and you can adjust it right here. And this is the great thing because then you can have main footage and then also your vertical footage. So if you need to record a snapshot, you're covered. 
So once you hit the icon on the right hand side, right next to the vertical plugin, it'll bring up this screen right here. Everything should be good to go. The only things you need to change are how long you would want to record for. So from my opinion, I feel like 45 seconds is the best. So I changed that to 46. And then you can also do a hotkey, which is amazing. So I have this at nine and then you're able to basically record the last 45 seconds with just one push of a button and it makes it so easy. And then once you hit okay, you're good to go. So that's how easy it is to work with OBS. It does take some time and effort to understand the program itself, but it will save you lots of time and energy. And the best part is it is free to use. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I truly appreciate it. If you could leave a like and a comment, that would be amazing. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.